My love, Brother Anthony. My love, Brother Pelly. Yeah. Brother Pelly, you know, I'm deep into my postgraduate studies, you know, there. I'm, I'm, you know, I've been reading, of course, but now I'm doing the heavy writing, you know, but I just finished this book. It's going to include, it's a Pablo Ferrere, The Pedagogy of Hope. Mm -hmm. I like this guy. Pablo Ferrere. I say Ferrere, he's, he's Brazilian, I think, you know, because it could be a, a Portuguese pronunciation, then it could be a Spanish pronunciation. I just say it the way I see it, you know. But anyway, what I'm thinking here, it's, 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 he's, this is called The Pedagogy of Hope, Reliving Pedagogy of the Oppressed. Like The Pedagogy of the Oppressed, I read that one too. That's his original book, they've got a lot of, you know, well, that's got a lot of praise, whatever have you. But I particularly like this Pedagogy of Hope. But what does pedagogy mean? Mm -hmm. you, 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 got, you got the computer there, won't you? Look that up. I'm, not, I'm, I'm just going to talk to the people for just a second. I'll get right back to you. Look, now you see, I usually don't mark well. Lately in my graduate study, I've been marking up these books. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know why I did that. I just that. But let me give you one of the last things he said in this book that I particularly like. Winning the fight is a process of which it can never be said, we've won, period. When this point is absolutized, Ooh, absolutized, one of those big words. Hey, Paolo probably made up that word himself. Hmm. When this point is absolutized, the revolution is paralyzed. There's a slogan. I like that one. Whoa! It means you gotta keep on, you gotta keep the fight. Revolution never fit. Well, revolution by definition goes round and round and round. Anyway, so I particularly like this book. This is a cool one. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes right up into the Grenadian Revolution with, with Morris Bishop and stuff like that. In fact, he, he says that I'm Uncle Cabral. And Maurice Bishop had the same had the same spirit for democracy, whatever have you. And of course, both these brothers kind of I don't know. What's the matter? Anyway, so what what does this say about pedagogy? What does what does pedagogy mean? What does it say right there? Uh, the Wikipedia mm -hmm. uh, is saying pedagogy in brackets, in brackets. entomology and pronunciation. And, uh, is the discipline that deals, this one deals with the theory and practice of education. Oh, so this is the discipline, pedagogy is the discipline that deals with the theory and practice of hope. Pedagogy of hope yeah. is the theory and practice of hope. Is, is, this, is the, what, well, there's something that deals, it deals with the theory and practice of hope. Oh, okay. We're studying hope. Yeah. Oh, that works for yeah. me. And this is not what I want to talk about today. Look, as you notice, I'm wearing my fraternity brothers. He gave it to me. You know, this is the Africana Studies. He's the head of Africana Studies over there at Keene University in, in, in New Jersey, over there in New York. Well, New York, I meant New Jersey. Well, yeah, everybody says New York, New Jersey, same thing. Anyway, he, he let me this. I like this hat, this particular hat. But it has like a Sankofa bird there. That's like looking back to know your future. That's really hip. He's just hip. We use it a lot in the States. But I was thinking, here's the thing. In this day and age, we have a big problem. This whole thing with this ISIS thing and whatever have you, people say, oh, what's, what's ISIS, blah, 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 blah. But I was really thinking about this. Because these guys, all of a sudden, they got a lot of money. You know, they got a lot of stuff that they're doing. I'm going, how they get to do all that stuff? Now, happened to, I, I saw this, this movie a while ago uh, with Nicolas Cage. It was called, like, Gods of War, Dogs of War, or Lord of War, something like that. One of those but it was a great film. But at the end, that the film was worth the price of admission to see the end because they ran through this list of the people who made arms, because it was about arms dealing. And the biggest arms dealers are like the US, China, Russia. I mean, think about the Kalishnikov, you know, the, 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 the symbol of revolution, you know. That was made by a Russian guy. So the people that makes these arms are these big countries. It's not like little little guys. So if these guys, these ISIS guys, they're being armed for some place, and plus now they they got things like they sell oil. They just I heard they just invaded Libya or whatever, so they got all those oil fields. So who are they sell the oil to? Who needs oil? So just think about this. Plus now they morph. They got businesses that they have in like other countries, like you know Turkey and other countries. They have businesses that they, they run. So they are getting money from businesses, from oil, from arms. Well, the arms being so. Wow. 
How are you going to stop something like that when you sponsored that? You, you see what I'm saying? And Lord's a book. Actually, I'm not confused. I'm very clear. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't have to study hope or nothing like that. I know what the deal is. You know, I'll just keep on going. But I'm, people better study something. They better study what's going on. Better look back to see how this stuff started to go forward. Because the only way we're going to stop this is that everybody says, Hey, who profits? Who's making these guns? Maybe we shouldn't beat on each other anymore. I don't know what to do. But there is some answer. Anyway, now I'll just keep on going on. So let me just stop right here. This has been a dispatch from the Arts Director of America. So that would be me, T, from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Amen.